let me say I am honored to uh, address the people here interested in the Stony Brook uh, computer uh, programming team. Uh, Stony Brook has a long and uh, reasonably or glorious enough record in the ACM ICPC world. And uh, you are all the, um, you know, the, the next generation that will lead our uh, teams to glory. Again, I'm Professor Steve Skeena. I was the longtime coach of our ACM programming team. Um, I actually took over from Professor Theo Pavlidis, probably oh, in the early 2000s, and um, maybe even a little before the early 2000s, come to think of it. Um, and uh, during my tenure, I was proud to say we made the world finals twice. Um, and I am hoping that you guys will continue in this uh, glorious tradition. Um, one of the things that uh, I am proud of was that, uh, you know, as a result of having coached a team for a while, I wrote a book on uh, competitive programming that uh, became fairly popular and fairly widely used. Um, at the first time I wrote this, it was a bit of a scandal because, uh, in fact, the um, our local ACM regional had gotten uh, word that this was not allowed to be part of the uh, materials that students were bringing into the uh, ACM exam. The rules before that had been that you could bring anything you wanted, um, and people brought in all kinds of books. But uh, one year, my book was declared illegal, and the Stony Brook team all marched in and as a... Uh, Nonviolent form of protest went in with their uh, programming uh, challenges books to have them symbolically confiscated during the contest. Um, but now peace reigns and uh, this is treated like any other programming book. One thing in this book is that we had 75 programming problems. My, co my late co author, Miguel Revilla, ran this uh, UVA uh, programming contest judge site that collected all kinds of problems. And um, part of the book is 75 problems, maybe it's even more than 75 problems. I guess it's actually over 100 problems, come to think of it, that were um, you know, from this ACM website, some of which came from this punk kid in Bangladesh named Rezul Choudhury. And so actually I knew Professor uh, Rezul before he was uh, here at Stony Brook, before even when he went for his PhD, I had had some uh, at least indirect contact with him from uh, the programming contest world. Um, so I uh, wish you guys success. I think these programming contest problems are a lot of fun. Uh, I think they are, of course, excellent practice for people who are trying to study programming, um, inter preparing for programming interviews um, these days. Uh, a lot of you know uh, uh, jobs, when people apply for programming jobs, they have to pass at least some kind of pre-screening where you have to basically do a certain number of these programming challenge problems. And uh, I think that uh, you know studying this is, is fun, studying this for all the algorithms. You know, again, I, I think the programming contest problems teach you algorithms in a in a, in a really good way. It's not about proving theorems, but it is about coming up with correct algorithms. It's about thinking about what's really fast or not fast on the scale of uh, the kind of problem that you're gonna be working on. Um, and you know, it's about what you can actually program, how simple an algorithm is. Something you can hack up quickly is a win over a more complicated algorithm. And uh, I think that these are very valuable skills and, and fun skills to have. And so um, I, I certainly hope you guys will benefit from um, taking the, uh, you know, taking this, th th this, this kind of course and this kind of training and going through the club. Um, so basically I wish you guys good luck. Um, I very much enjoyed coaching the team all of these years. Uh, you know, it was always fun to sit down. When I was coaching the team, we had, you know, roughly weekly problem sessions where there would be an exam that was sent out to the, uh, you know, to each, you know, we had one 
exam that the, all the teams were working on one week. And then we would sit down and have a roundtable discussion going through each one of the problems and was it easy, was it hard, who got it, what did they do, what was worked, what didn't. And uh, I always enjoyed that kind of thing. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. I hope you will have a good experience here and I wish you a great deal of luck.